This is a video about simple interest, which you will find in the skill that the GED describes as solve multiple step problems that use ratios, proportions, and percents. Okay, just a word about this. There are going to be two other videos that are associated with this. One where we just focus on percent increase and decrease, um, and then another one on commissions. This is just a huge topic, so we've broken it down into three different videos. So here's the one on simple interest. So first of all, simple interest is the amount of money that you will earn if you deposit your money in a bank, or the amount you have to pay to borrow money, such as when you're buying a car or a house. And on the formula sheet, they do give you a, um, a formula for simple interest, where it's I, that's an I, equals PRT, where I is interest, P is principal, or your initial starting amount that you're either depositing or that you're borrowing, um, and the rate and the time. So there's a couple things to remember about uh, this formula. So the first thing is that the rate must either be in a percentage or you have to convert the percentage into um, a decimal. You can't just use five. So if they say five percent, you actually have to enter in the, use the percent button over here on the calculator or convert it into a decimal. Also, time must be in years. And of course, test makers um, aren't going to be easy on you. They're going to give you months uh, and you're going to have to convert those months into years. So how do you do that? What if they give you 27 months? Well, that's going to be two and a quarter years. Well, how do you figure that out? You take 27 divided by 12 to get 2.25. So all the examples I'll do um, in this video will include months that you are going to have to convert. All right, so let's do an example. You decide to buy a car. You have to get a loan, though, to afford the car. You need to borrow 9500 at a rate of 5% for 60 months. How much interest will you pay over the life of the loan? So um, this is a pretty typical real-life example here. And let's dive in. Let's see. Let's take this formula, I equals PRT. So I, that's what the question's asking for. The P, that's the principal or the starting amount that, in this case, that you're borrowing. That's the 9500 And then the next one is the rate. The rate, in this case, is 5%, and I will use the percent button on the calculator. And then the time is going to be 60 months. So what we're going to do is take that 60 months, and we're going to divide it by 12, put it in the calculator. I think you always will be able to use a calculator on this type of question. So 60 divided by 12 is 5. So we are going to enter in 5. So let's go ahead and write the whole thing out. I equals 9,500 times, I'm using a dot for times, um, times the rate, which is going to be 5%, times the number of years, which is 5. So let's go ahead and put all that in the calculator. So 9,500 multiplied by 5 and then to get this percent I'm going to do second percent and just so you know this is the calculator you will you will get on the GED times 5 so this the amount of interest is 2375 all right now sometimes on the GED they will actually ask you to go a, a step further where they might ask you something like this how much will you pay in total for the car, assuming you made a $2,000 down payment in addition to borrowing $9,500? So in order to answer this one, what you're going to have to do is the total amount of the car is going to be equal to the down payment, I'm writing all this out here, plus the interest, plus your principal. Okay, so up here, this is the amount of money. The interest is the amount of money that you have to pay to borrow the money. Okay, and so the principal is what you're borrowing. That's the 9,500. Okay, the interest is the 2,375. And then often you do have to put a down payment. So down payments are like the initial money that you pay. So we will add all these up. So let me just clear it and make it nice and 
um, streamlined here. So there's the 2000 plus 2375 for the interest plus 9500 for the principal. So this car cost 13875 so another thing to think about when you have an in, a simple interest problem is are they asking for the interest the simple interest only or are they asking for the total payment which in that case you will have to add back to the principal or and then sometimes they might even add like a down payment a little little bit of a twist to it all right let's do another one a banker is offering a rate of seven percent for 18 months if you start with a principal of 2250 how much total money would you have after the investment period? So this um, is a real life situation where, you know, if you put your money in a bank, you know, in a savings account or something like that, the bank will actually pay you a little bit of money. Right now in 2021, uh, banks are not paying much at all, certainly nowhere near 7%. It's actually probably like, like a tenth of a percent or even a quarter of a percent. Um, anyway, so 7% would be great. That hasn't happened in a really long time, but let's go ahead. Do we know the interest? Well, we are going to need to know that. That's what we need to find, um, even though it says the total money. So if you remember from the last problem, we need the interest, and then we will add it back to the principal. So uh, P, the principal, the amount of money that you're giving the bank is 2250 The rate is 7%, and the time is again 18 months 18 m so we need to divide that by 12 m and you could put that in a calculator 18 divided by 12 is one and a half years okay so now we have everything that we need i equals uh, the principal which is 2250 times the rate which is seven percent times uh, the time which is 1.5 so let's go ahead and put that all over here in the calculator so 2250 times 7 and then second to get this percent times 1.5 all right so over the course of a year and a half the bank would pay you if they were paying such a high rate uh, two hundred and thirty six dollars and twenty five cents so, but the total is equal to I, I'm going to use abbreviations, the interest, plus the principal. So we've got 236 and 25 plus 2,250. So let's take this uh, and we'll just add it. So if you have this, a little shortcut is you can just do add in A and S. So it's giving us this previous interest here. And so we'll do 2,250. So our total in this case is 2,486.25. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you found it valuable and subscribe if you would like to see more videos like these. Visit the link below to passtheged.org to see more videos and learning opportunities that will help you get the highest passing score on the GED. And good luck.